<laughs> so today, I'm going to teach you the difference between an Orisha and a neo-pagan god and goddess. Because there's a lot of misinformation about who the Orishas are on this motherfucking app. So at first glance, when we're talking about gods and goddesses, titans and mythology, the pantheon of Orishas at the surface level might look the same but they're different. First, let's look at the definition of a god and goddess. It's a generic term for many deities or ancient and modern polytheistic religions. Such deities may correspond to earthly and celestial phenomenon or to human values, pastimes, and institutions, including love, marriage, hunting, and war. So gods and goddesses are personifications of primordial forces. And Orishas do have primordial forms. The Arunmule, the people of heaven, the Orishas that we talk about are divinities. They are, in a, they are in a state of being divine. The Orisha faith is monotheistic. It believes in one God, Aludamare. And from that one supreme creator comes everything else. In comparison with Christianity, most people believe that Jesus Christ lived in heaven before he incarnated on earth. We see a parallel in ancient religions that reflect that same concept such as Hinduism, that the supreme deity manifests itself in an infinite, infinite amount of forms, just as Vishnu here incarnated on earth as Lord Krishna. Just like Vishnu has avatars that incarnated on earth, so do all of the Orishas have their avatars, and they've been here more than one time. They've been here many times. I think the last incarnation of Oshun happened about a thousand years ago, according to a Babalao I was talking to. And Orisha is traditional religion. It's not witchcraft. The Orishas are divine. So when someone who practices Orisha calls on one of the divinities, it's like Catholics who call on saints for assistance in life. It's why Orisha was so easily syncretized with Catholicism, like people call on St. Francis, and they call on Arunmila. But here's the difference between calling on an Orisha and calling on a pagan god from mythology. Ha <laughs> ha! If I was doing some kind of ceremony that required me calling on a scientist to perform an operation, I could call on Doc Brown, or I can call on Stephen Hawking. What's the difference between those two scientists? One is fictional, and one was a real person. Even though the Orishas have their myths, they were still real people.